So in Follow the Queen, what happens if during the face-up rounds, no queens are dealt face-up? Say this is the scenario. We deal out all the face-up rounds. Maybe there's some action. The pot grows. Maybe there's some more action. The pot grows some more. All the face up cards are dealt and there's no queens. Well, what that means is that there's no secondary wild card. So instead of a game where there are eight possible wild cards, now there are only four, the four queens. And let's look at the individual hands. Here's a hand that has a queen. So this person's pretty happy. They show four diamonds and a queen. They have a flush to the ace. Here's a hand. They actually have three eights, three natural eights. Remember, there's no wild card, no secondary wild card. So they have three natural eights. Here's another hand. Again, a natural hand, a pair of tens. And then finally, this last hand has a queen in the hole, but not much else going on and makes a pair of kings. And that's how you determine hand strength when no queens are dealt face up in Follow the Queen.